What is going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday, Bobby Fathom Man, Eric Sheet Tabor. And I don't know about you, Eric. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about last night before we get into this five gamer on Tuesday. I I'm ready for this month to end. I, I don't, I can't get it right. I mean, I'm like totally an idiot. And and last night, I, I mean, the what I literally one little decision turns from you know losing about half of your 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 bankroll for the night stack to uh to maybe almost tripling it was literally just. Wiggins for Bates Diop. And I even said, I like Bates Diop, I think a little bit better than I do. And I just played Wiggins instead. And, you know, I was punished, uh, ended up bubbling the big stuff. So didn't end up doing well. And all I had to do was make that one switch. So how did you do? I know you had some deep run in, in some. Well, parts. no, my, my issue was, was self-imposed. I mean, I, as I told you guys, I was going out last night. So I was going to just play a couple of lineups or whatever. And I couldn't follow anything that was going on. I didn't even conceive like the fact that Trey Young was even questionable, much less going to be out. Um, mm. So I just, I just literally missed it. Um, I don't know what, how, what I would have done otherwise, but I did end up with this, uh, with this uh, three entry max finish. I got seventh in this. Um, oh, nice. With, with nobody from Atlanta. <laughs> so, so that's not, no Atlanta lineup. So, so that, so that, that worked out um, well enough. This one was the, uh, the, I guess the 3% Troy Brown Jr. at 12 X was the, yeah was, was the, was the contributor to that. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, everybody else that trend Anthony Edwards is fortunate enough to get to make overtime. Um, he was pretty good though. And right. He had like 52 in regulation, I think, or 51. Yeah. And so, you know, this kind of, this kind of saved my ass um, for the night pretty much just, I mean, and then listen, I, I, and I, I was like in first in this thing after the show was over. Oh, I'm in first. And then, well, who's going to beat me? Then I saw that like all these guys had like DeJounte Murray under me. What was so great about DeJounte Murray? Then I pulled up the box score. I'm like, oh, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> and then the next thing you know, he scored like 30 fantasy points in the last quarter or something like that to, to, to do whatever. So all these guys, all these guys passed me at the end. But, um, and a little bit, a little annoying. And, and Bogdanovich had like a garbage. Literally, like in the last two seconds of the game, he had a three that moved me down from like fourth to, to oh, seven. That's so irritating. And yeah, it was like, and, and the game was basically over, and they made this furious yeah. comeback at the end where yeah. you probably lost like 20 something fantasy points. Speak to that. Exactly. So, the only guy I had, Simons, I mean, he held his own. I mean, you know, but he can't fight all these guys. You know, it's right, like, right. I was fighting guys with like literally a bias with, with, with Lillard, Bogdanovich, and DeJounte Murray. I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> so, right, right. <laughs> I was happy. I was happy to hang on for what I did. If you want to know the truth, yeah, no, no. I mean, it was so. So, 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 so tonight is a good old cheat slate. I think there is not a shred of value, and it's going to be like two hundred fifty points to win. I think. I, I think, but we'll see. I think we're going to see some 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 potential value open up, but I don't even know where yet. I just yeah, we don't know. We don't know yet. Yeah, but as of right now, I, I I have the same read. It definitely feels like a sheet slate, which, by the way, maybe that works for me now because I can't, like I said, I can't, every last decision seems to go, I go, I make the wrong one. I'm just, I'm not winning my 50-50s at all. <laughs> so okay, I'm, fair enough. I'm ready to start, ready to get back to it. Um, you ready to start off talking about uh, Cleveland and Miami? Look at this. Look at, this Cleveland and, yeah, Cleveland and Miami. look at this one. Was it 25 points lowest total on the board or something like yeah, that? Yeah, by a long shot. Jeez. Right, right out of the gate. And and just to just to know again the um the structure of the slate here. You have a seven, a seven thirty, two eights, and then a ten. Um, so that's something to again, I always like to take the you know the fifty thousand foot view. And, and I do see just looking here that Jamal Murray says questionable. Feels kind of fraudulent. Um but just, you know, just something to keep in mind. Um, and yeah. All right. So, so I guess starting off, well, b before we even we do this again, we don't know what value is going to show up if it does. Like right now I don't have, and I just ran pr pr projections and stuff. I don't have a single player projected at over six X uh, yeah. on the whole board. Yeah. So when, usually when that happens, there's, mm -hmm. there's kind of two ways to play. At least the way I look at it. One way, which is the way I prefer, is to just not play the studs and just play, you know, uh, middling builds. The other way is to play the studs and then just just basically random – these random 3,500s, 3,500s. Find the Troy Browns is what you're saying? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And just hope – you hope to get the right one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It depends on how on how you want to – and how you want to do it. Um, but, I mean, I, listen, I, the Troy Brown thing makes – I mean, I, listen, I, I was – I told you in the beginning, I was playing Westbrook and Bryant and – um and 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 Kyrie and Rui and then I was going to shuffle other guys in and he just kind of made the shuffle like he made the shuffle 
Shudir made the shuffle. Like they all just kind of made it in there. And this one happened to get there. So, yeah. um, anyway, Miami, Cleveland, I like the top point per dollar play I have on this board is something not on this board in this game is someone I'm just not playing. Right. And I see like 3,200 Ricky Rubio. And I just have to think there's better in this world than to do that. Um, and then when I look at like kind of more spend up type guys, I, I mean, there's a reason why this is like the lowest total. These are like the two best defensive teams in basketball. You could, you could argue that at least. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And okay. <laughs> I mean, Donovan Mitchell is, you know, he's, he's cheap enough, I guess. Mm -hmm. It's just a atrocious matchup, but um, he'd be my, uh, I guess him and Garland both kind of look okay. Um, Hero is 6,700, Butler 7,800. I, I just don't think I'm going to do it. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm just going to let this whole thing beat me. Yeah, so my 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 thing with this game is I am I am absolutely going to play Jimmy Butler as of right now. This is exactly the kind of thing you want on this kind of slate. And as I mentioned, I like Jimmy Butler in the competitive games. I don't particularly care if they're great matchups or anything like that. It doesn't really matter for him. We know this guy plays really, 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 really hard and really well in these any basically anytime the game is real, they're really threatened. So Jimmy Butler is, I think, an awesome play at 7,800. His projection is so low because the matchup is is not great. But like you see him in these matchups, and he and he does. I mean, he he's just really really tough when they when they need him to be. So I kind of like the idea of getting a low on Jimmy Butler and then playing potentially Mitchell on the other side. That's my early, pretty much all I have. I think mixing in guys like Acoro and uh, and Rubio for for if you're a multi entry person, it make makes perfect sense. I think Tyler Hero uh, is reasonable. Uh, just to always take a shot on his sixty seven hundred. Kyle Lowry's price, but I think that Jimmy Butler and, and Mitchell are, are my main things here. Although I wouldn't mind like Kyle Lowry might end up being like a reasonable ish value because of the uh, nature of the slate and it doesn't feel great. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think the Butler is my, my first actual stand that I want to make of uh, a guy who's going to play hard in these tough games and, and uh, I'm probably going to end up playing him as of right now. All right, this next game is the one I want to play. Um, not the game, just the side. So, so I mean, listen, one thing that the NBA, well, I, I think this is just a great decision that they must have made like a long time ago that they just never, never, never changed, which I really like. I like when they have the Eastern Conference versus the Western Conference. They only have the one game, okay? Um, I, I really like that. I, I, I like the... Always growing up, looking forward to like the Lakers coming to town that one time, you know, whatever it is. And these games are a big deal, you know. And and, and as you remember, like there are certain teams that everybody kind of looks for, and, and like the Warriors are that team. And this year, as you might recall, when they came to town, Curry was out; he was hurt. Mm -hmm. You know, and it basically ruined the fan experience. You know, for 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 Brooklyn, for New York, you know, because people spend a lot of money and look forward to these games like for a long time. And, and these Laker games, just as long as I've been alive, it's just been like a really, really big deal. And, and, and fortunately for the Knicks fans, they're going to get the whole, the full Monty, man. They're going to get, they're going to get LeBron. They're going to get AD. You know what I mean? They're going to get Westbrook. They're going to get everybody. And it's a, it's a really big game. And, and I think the Lakers are all overpriced. I can't play any of them, but I think that, um, I think these Knicks, I mean, they're, I think they're going to play 57 minutes. You know what I mean? Like, I think they're going to, I think this, they're going to play Randall a million minutes. They're going to play Brunson a million minutes. They're going to play Barrett a million minutes. Um, and uh, I think they're all in play. Uh, and, and on a slate like this, like I mentioned, where I think you're going to want to play these types of prices. Um, I think that Randall would be the most expensive guy I would go to, but I think guys like, like, like Barrett and, and and uh, and Brunson and even what's his name even Grimes gonna play he might play forty minutes who the hell knows mm -hmm. um, I think that all these guys are really really good um, I listen it's not that I don't want to play Lakers it's just that there's just no way to do it with the, in my opinion yeah. no way to do it with with the prices so on a slate like this where there's very at least for now very very little value if you want to play these middling builds I think those guys are 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 real real good plays today. Yeah, um, I, I agree. It's, it's, I think that's that's where you're getting. You're, you're probably playing at least two Knicks as of right now. Um, I think that the ones that stand out the most are Brunson and Grimes because Grimes actually offers some 
look, at least if you get the value in and, and against the Lakers that, that, you know, all these, all these dud games that, that Grimes puts up from a fantasy perspective, at least the Lakers offer you some, some ways out of that because they, they play pretty fast. They don't play a whole lot of defense and they'll leave out guys open for three while they focus on doubling everybody else and all that. Um, so I do think Grimes is a little bit more in play than usual. Um, I don't think I would get to Sims, but I do think taking shots on Hartenstein, if you're looking for value at a large field is, is reasonable. Um, and I think that on the Laker side, uh, other than, you know, I, I just, you could, you could play Troy Brown again as a, as a sort of an Okoro type of play, but I, I just personally am having a hard time, like you said, to get to anybody. It is hard because you, you always want to play superstars when they go to New York too, because that is a time where people like to try and show out. But LeBron at 11-6 is just going to be hard to get to today. And AD is still playing those 28 minutes to play 33 the other day because of the overtime. But they're going to try and keep him under that 28-minute mark for right now. Should be a real good life, a good real-life game. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I have it Brunson, Grimes, then Randall, then Barrett in terms of the Knicks that I'm playing. But I do, I do like all of them. And I agree with you. I think that's where you're getting, you know, a good portion of your plays today, no matter how you're, no matter how you're building, really. All right. Clippers and Chicago. We've got another one where everybody's playing. Sheets, what, what are we going to do here? Well, even if, even though everybody's playing, I mean, I still think Paul George is pretty reasonable mm -hmm. um, at 8,900. So, uh, again, in these types of builds, uh, you know, I, I want to be a stickler for, for price in, in this range. So I'd rather play him than, than Kawhi. Um, and not a lot of value on the Clipper side. So again, we're still looking at these kind of mid range ideas. And I guess from the Chicago between DeRozan and Levine, I guess, listen, just on price, I suppose Levine's a better play just because he's 900 cheaper. And I think every, every cent that you can, that you can save um, is going to matter today. Um, uh, but that's where I would go. I, I don't listen right now. I, I just don't. And again, if you want to do the other route, if you want to play like Giannis or Jokic or somebody else, and then just like do the, do the Chicago, you know, shooting guard shuffle, you know what I mean? And play like some of some Asanyu or, or white or, or Patrick Williams or whatever, and hope just one of them gets there or, you know, that's fine too. But I kind of like doing the other thing and, and maybe play like a Zach Levine or something like that. Yeah, I um, I, I'm I'm not getting to like the bowls that I'm getting. Like I like Patrick Williams as a value, protect, like a valueish play on this this slate. Um, I I don't have any problem with DeRozan or Levine. Um, or well, a little bit more with Vooch, I guess I do. But DeRozan or Levine, I think are fine. I, I I'm not like desperate to try to make them priorities. I think I would pick Levine, like you said, for for the price. And I think Paul George is a good play on the other side. There's a bunch of Q tags with the Clippers with Jackson, Covington, and Morris. I don't really know what that opens up. <laughs> I'm going to have to see a starting lineup because it's it, every Clippers lineup, I feel like it's a unique lineup every every time. We don't, we don't have the same guys available almost ever. Um, so if all three of those guys were out, maybe it would open up for a Batum uh, for value. But as of right now, I have Paul George and – uh, Patrick Williams is my favorite play is with potentially using uh, either DeRozan or Levine, but none of it feels that great. Keep in mind that the, the Bulls play really well, like for whatever reason, against good teams, they play horrible against bad teams. Um, but I, I, I do think that getting, you know, one of Levine or, or DeRozan certainly makes sense. It's just hard for me to want to play those guys over the Knicks. That's the only, only issue. All right. Uh, Charlotte, <laughs> this is going to be a tough one for Charlotte. Uh, Charlotte at Milwaukee. What do you got, Sheets? Yeah, so like I said, like you just kind of alluded to, it is going to be a tough one for Charlotte. Um, they're an 11-point underdog, and uh, yet yet another reason why a play like Giannis on a slate like this is is extra tough. Um, number one, there's not a lot of value to get him in, even if you wanted to play him, and you might not even want to play him anyway, um, just because of the blowout risk. So um, that's probably not the way I'm going to go. Now, again, Boy, I see Giannis at 25%. I, I would expect – I thought he was going to be less because of the dynamic I just kind of brought up, but we'll see what happens. Um, the the guy who's showing up for me as the point – well, there are two point-per-dollar plays on, on this in this game at least. One is Mark Williams for Charlotte, uh, and the other is Connaughton for Milwaukee. Now, again, like none of, none of these guys on a 
in, in, in on a full slate where you know what I mean, like whatever, you you are going to stand out as a tremendous play. The the value piece, at least right now, is very very barren. So uh, I I just have to mention these two guys. I, I do think also that if this game does blow out, I think Mark Williams can 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 get some run in there also, maybe extended so. Um, and uh, where where Connaughton now is kind of more like of that thirty minute, you know, in in regular games. Um, he's not the, we used, I used to punt a player from time to time, hoping he can get blowout run, whatever, but he's actually, I think a, actually a real part of the team now, I think, I don't know. Um, so, uh, I'm probably not going to get to too much. I don't, I don't, I think it's too risky to pay up for 9,500 for, for LaMelo. I think, um, that's just, that's just my opinion considering the game environment. Um, uh, and that's pretty much where I am. Yeah, I just want to point out that Charlotte plays and gets blown out a lot, and it doesn't ever seem to increase Mark Williams' minutes. It hasn't once. Okay, that's interesting. Um, that. He's actually been – he's actually – in in the extreme blowouts, they've actually limited him. They've done the opposite. Wow. Okay. Um, so I, 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 I do think on this slate you have to consider him because there's not much value um, if, you wanted, if you wanted to go that route. If you wanted to bank on this game staying close, it would still be hard to find ways to get pieces of it to me. I think Lamelo's Lamelo on his own completely reasonable at, at 9,500, but I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I can even get, get there. Um, I have Connaughton or Ingles. That, you know, play one of those guys as a priority. Just want to point out that Connaughton's game, like this, is a play a play that I feel like people are treating like a lot because as as chalk on some slates he got there. Just want to mention when he got there, he shot nine of 12 from three point range in those two games, um, which basically was where he got the, the, enough to where it was really like a smashing number. He really is pretty shooting reliant still. He can rebound. That's the one other thing he'll do. But it's really you're hoping for some sort of outlier steal game or a bunch of rebounds and that he hits his threes because. I mean, he's he's like even last game he made two out of five threes and he still only put up eighteen fantasy points. I don't think there's any lock about about Connaughton being being the play here. I kind of like the idea of playing Ingles at lower ownership and he's a little bit cheaper, but obviously, but you know, we're starved for value. So playing one of those guys, I think, is the right way to go. <clears throat> and at some point, we'll we'll have the Chris Middleton discussion again. It's just not going to be the time yet. Um, I think that Brolo. Uh, Brooke Lopez is is a guy who I don't think anybody's going to play, and I think he's a really solid play tonight in the sort of mid range. Actually, I don't. Let me see how many people are. I do like him a lot. He actually is. Good, looks like he's going to get a little bit of ownership, but I I do like Brolo, and that's really weird to say on a basketball slate that he's my favorite ch- tournament type of play. Um, yeah, this is a two forty four total, so you'd love to you'd love to get exposure to it. It's just hard to find ways to do with the pricing the way that it is currently. Um, one thing to consider, though, who's not projecting as well as I thought he would is uh, Gordon Hayward. I'm kind of confused as to why he's projecting so poorly. Um, and, the, you know, even the minutes for him feel low. Like, he, you know, if he's trending, he's, he's, he's sort of trended up a little bit more in minutes. I know he made all of his shots in the last game, so maybe I shouldn't count on that. But I just think he's like a, an, an interesting in-between play, but n- not exciting. Just, just, just looking for guys here because it is a really tough slate. All right, next up, last, you know, we have the Island game. All right, New Orleans, Denver, take it away. Yeah, I think that, again, given everything that I just said uh, with respect to the slate and every, uh, it's pretty thematic here. I think that Jamal Murray is going to be the play here. Um, obviously, presuming he's playing. I mean, this is the price range that I, just, I think I want to look for. Um, so he just fits in really nicely, projects well enough, you know, Um and uh, that's that's kind of my play here. I don't think uh, again, Jokic is going to be just a difficult salary to to obtain. A um, couple of things I would say about the New Orleans side uh, from a point per dollar perspective, I have Herb Jones um, rated pretty you know okay, um, probably the best overall point per dollar play in this game. Um, the other thing is that I played Larry Nance a couple of days ago, and he and and he played well enough. Um, the interesting thing is that they. They, they really prefer him closing over Valanciunas, you know, yeah. and, 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 you know, I was almost, I didn't want to play Nance the other day because when I was looking at kind of the comments over the past, you know, four or five games, they were saying that, you know, Nance was getting in, but only because Valanciunas either got ejected or that he got in foul trouble, or whatever it was, 
But in this last game, there was nothing like that. They just no, it's, it's, it's he pretty much he closes a majority of the time. He closes more often than than the Valentinus does every game. Yeah, yeah. So so, um, you know, again on, on a slate with, with not too much value. I mean, I, I would probably go back to him. Um, and then you know, there listen, there there is going to be probably a game where where Valanciunas gets 60 again. Um, but maybe not. You know what I mean? I maybe maybe that's that was the I don't I don't know. I, I I actually don't understand why they don't play him more. Maybe he's just I know. Oh you, okay. Nance is more flexible. He they, they like to run and gun. He fits that lineup and that building rough and there aren't that many teams with bigs. This is one of them obviously in Denver. Um there aren't that many teams with bigs that are really going to make you pay. Nance has a lot of size anyway. He's yeah. athletic. They 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 they're just they they like playing that 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 like all you know, rangy, long six nine guys lineup that they, they have. Don't even, they don't even play Valanciunas at all. I mean, they just don't. You know what I mean? Then the way we wouldn't bother. I mean, well, he's, he's still a good player. You can still be a contributing player and not be the closer. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess so. He's and he's and he's been. You know, he's been pretty good, and he'll close sometimes. And this is the kind of game where he could close because it's Jokic, and it depends on how he's going, of course. But he can do things like you know, he can take Jokic away from the basket because he'll shoot threes. He can. Um, physically match up a little better than Nance can probably. Although I would, I would contend that Jokic, most of these awesome centers these days, who, who if there's anybody they seem to have trouble with, it seems to be the long, lanky kind of rangy athletic guys, more than these big guys who seem like they physically match up better. Um, all this to say, I think that you have to prioritize one of Herb Jones or Larry Nance at least. And okay. I think that you could easily play both of them. Um, because they, they, as, as far as value goes as of right now, they definitely stand out as being better than everybody else. I also think that Trey Murphy is completely in play here. Um, and I don't think that he, I think he's getting like, uh, the projections don't, don't like him and his minutes and everything are, seem to be a little lower than I would get. get well, actually got him at 26. Um, I think, I think that's an interesting tournament play, but I, I do think playing at least one of Nance and Herb Jones, uh, and possibly both of them makes some sense. I don't think I'm going to get to the McCollum, Valanchunas, Ingram range. Although if I was going to, you know, if you wanted to stack up this game, if we had other value, I would say go ahead. And I think Jamal Murray is, is completely reasonable. Um, I don't think it's like an, an automatic play. I'm actually interested in Michael Porter Jr. Um, he played 28 minutes in his game back the other night. I, I, I do think this is the kind of matchup we could see him having a big game. So I would say one of Murray or Porter Jr. here. Um, and then if we can, if we can get the money, I love Jokic, but I just, I don't know how to how to find that 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 sal that money right now. Alvarado had a real pretty nice game for me the other day, like an awesome game. Um, uh, maybe maybe he's uh, I mean they moved they moved him up to forty nine hundred, but I don't know. Again, I'm I'm not gonna I'm trying not to be oh, too because familiar. that was because Brandon Ingram didn't play. Oh, Ingram didn't play. Okay. So I would I would I would count on Alvarado to 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 not I mean. He's still going to play minutes, and he's always going to have a chance because he's, you know, active okay. and all that. But, I, but it's everybody's numbers are a little bit inflated that last game. From I was wondering, game. I was wondering why he doesn't show up in my projections much. Okay, right. yeah, okay. That, that's the reason he doesn't project well. But I'm not saying that he's a bad GPP play. I'm just saying that that's why he's not projecting as well. Okay, but I, see, I, I'll, let me see other guys that that I'm just looking at my board now. If there's any other guys I even mentioned, I mean, you you mentioned Butler. I guess looking back, I guess Bam is reasonable. Um, just because of the price, you know, yeah. and same thing. And if you maybe maybe Drew at eighty five hundred seems a little bit much. So um, we've yeah. done a lot of slates this year. This might be the lowest point per dollar projected slate yeah. that we've done, even for a video for a first look. Yeah, like, you'll you see, and then, then then we'll hang up, and Jokic and, and Giannis will both get ruled out, <laughs> right? And then we're like, what do we do with all the value? Who do we even spend it on? Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah, I have my like list of like I like Butler. I think it's a little bit of a contrarian thing to play him. I, I really like him here. Um, Brunson, Grimes, one of Randall or Barrett, uh, Patrick Williams, one of Connaughton or Ingles, uh, at least one of Herb Jones and Nance, and then I have Brolo, uh, Brooke Lopez as a. I think Brooke Lopez is a really good play today. All right, so we'll be we'll be around at six yep. for uh, for for. Uh, the live show where hopefully we'll have some more news or, or, or not, you know, hopefully we'll just have some kind of clarity. Yeah. I think, I think, I think we'll have a little bit, hopefully, but uh, I, I don't know. This might be a night because all these guys had the night off, except for the Lakers who are bringing everybody back. Um, this might be a night where you see everybody. Uh, may, maybe we don't have news for a change. Right. 
Um, all right. Anyway, well, good luck to everybody. We'll see you live at 6 Eastern. Okay.